Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Lucas. Now, if you've been on Twitter, you've seen a bunch of different posts and different threads on like different types of custom AI agents for like customer support or for sales or lead qualification agents. We also have a bunch of examples of more technical agents, for example, inside of Cursor or with Anti-Gravity, which is Google's new IDE. But when it comes to designs, agents usually fall apart, right? They, they give you slop design, right? They can code, they can research, they can connect different apps together. But again, designing, it's very, very hard to get some type of output that you like. Obviously, you have to have some type of very structured uh, prompt when it comes to the actual structure of the page or project that you're trying to build. But you also have like to add the colors, you have to add that branding that actually makes the design feel alive. Plus, you need to add that like human touch to it, right? Because design at the end also has that aesthetic touch to it that only humans can kind of give. So for example, this is like a very simple landing page that you would expect from an AI, right? You have the very simple nav bar with like this little icon. We have this hero section. Obviously it looks very nice, it looks clean. You know, if this was maybe five years ago, this would be a clean website that it would be amazing that you can build something like this, but we know that it's just so easy to do this. You just have to write a prompt and you'll get something like this, right? It's nothing impressive in today's age. But you could eventually, with a specific workflow that I'm going to show in this video, get designs like this, right? This is a perfect example of a great website from V0. Um, and if you scroll down, we have these nice little animations over here. Shout outs to Lorenzo for making this. You get these different sections. So it has that human touch to it, built by an AI um, vibe coding website, which is V0. But you know, you can use different tools like UX Pilot and like Magic Path to eventually get here, right? To help you out with these AI agents to so that you don't have to do all the work as a designer. You're more of like an art director, right? Another great example is this one that we actually built in a stream, a granola website. So as you can see, this is all built in V0, right? This is all built with the workflow that I'm gonna show you today. We have this beautiful hero section over here. We have this nice section down here, how it works. Perfect, just like the actual website that we that we got it from. It's a, a duplicate from a website. And we brought all of this design and all of the code in to V0. And we can basically remix it and you know add specific types of pages if we wanted to. And or maybe actually create a product based off of this entire design. So yeah, guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my AI agentic flow for design, right? With my three tools that I use in order to create stunning websites like that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And actually, before we get started with today's video, I'd love to invite you guys to my community. We are a bunch of different startup founders, designers, developers from all around the world. And we get together every single weekday at around 11 a.m. to talk about different tools, different topics, different, different challenges that we have in our lives. So if you guys are interested in joining, feel free to join. Link is down in the description below. All right, so let's imagine that we are a designer for a company, let's say Contra in this case, and right, we have all of these different tabs over here on the right. We can look at the dashboard. We can look at our notifications, our messages, different jobs that are available, different projects that are also um, available. We have this nice feed, right? And Contra is growing and growing every single week. And they do a lot of hackathons, right? We have like the Magic Path Hackathon or this Anything App Hackathon. So if I go over here, we can see that we have this hackathon. There's four days left to enter. And we have a few judges, right? We have, these are all of the different judges that they have for the specific hackathon. But what if we wanted to create a new type of flow where there won't be any judges, but actually the people are judges, right? So you wanna have some type of polling or like voting tab over here, instead of it just being trending and recent and guidelines, you wanna have some type of voting tab where you can just go ahead look at all the projects and vote for your three favorite ones, for example. Now, I actually like to use this tool called UX Pilot for more for UX concepts, right? So like we just said, we wanna create this new type of voting experience. So what I can do is I can use this tool to kind of help me structure the wireframe for this, right? So we wanna go back here and we wanna take a screenshot of this entire page and we can go back into UX Pilot, paste in this image, and then I can just click on here for reference. And then we can say like create a voting tab next to trending where users can vote on different designs for this hackathon. Hackathon. So I can choose wireframe for this, right? And we have a, a, some other options over here like advanced settings. So model, 
we want to choose a standard one because the blitz creates like instant designs. It's going to be less quality. And we can choose like three different variants over here. And where we have this design options, I want to choose. And where we have this design options button over here, we're going to toggle on max. And this basically includes deep design. So richer layouts with less input, larger, more detailed results. And we're going to also enhance the prompt over here. And it's going to generate three different options over here that I can kind of view from. And at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and open a new tab. And we're going to go to magicpath.ai. And Magic Path has this fantastic Chrome extension where you can basically just click on the Chrome extension, select any element. So we can select like this entire feed element or just one, this one tab or like the entire left panel over here. Basically click on this, copy the component and bring it over here and paste it in here, right? And we end up getting all of these custom components from the actual Contra website that we can eventually like use as different like Lego blocks to eventually build out our prototype that we want, right? So we're gonna get our UX pilot wireframe, bring it in over here, and then we're gonna like piece in together the different components that we brought in from the Chrome extension. And as you can see over here, we're getting really nice results. So I, I would say this one I really like because we have, you know, the recents, the voting, and I just wanna see if I can like interact with it. If I click on voting, um, nothing really happens, but um, we can probably ask it to do that. So, but I think for now, like this layout is really great. So what I can do is I can try to export this. And then at the same time, I'm also going to grab this and go into Magic Path and create a new component, paste this in here and add that image that we got from UX Pilot. And while this loads, we can start gathering the different components that we would want to need. For example, this social feed would be a good one. We can bring this over here and we can duplicate these by just clicking on Command D and just put this one back here, but we can use these different components for like our, our, our Lego concept, right? Pasting everything in. We need that social feed. The user menu drop down would also be a good one to have as well. So we can already start putting this kind of in the middle, this one over here. And then back in UX Pilot, we can generate different flows, right? So I can click on flow over here and we can say, create a voting flow, right? And by the way, inside of Magic Path, we get something like this, right? Which is crazy. The quality is insane. And over here, we can basically replace this with this, right? With the hackathon challenge header. So I can go ahead and ask it to do that. So we can say replace the header image with, or we can actually just like double click over here. So we can say replace the image container with the main CTA with at, so at symbol, hackathon, we have to just look for that. So it's somewhere over here, hackathon challenge header, and then we can just submit this. And over here in UX pilot, I'm just creating different flows just to kind of get like a visualization. Now we can obviously do this as well in magic path, but I just want to kind of show you, you know, a potential, you know, workflow involving the two tools, right? Maybe you can use both of the tools to get different types of opinions. I'm using, for example, UX pilot just for wireframes and building out the entire design inside of magic path. So for example, we get something like this for the voting, right? We have the picture of the project and then we have like the title and the person watch demo view project, submit vote. So it's like a good way to kind of brainstorm on different layouts of the voting card. And inside of Magic Path, it's already starting to look just like the app. Now we just have to try to replace these or add this new voting tab over here. Alrighty, and now we get our voting tab. So if I click on voting, we have vote for your favorites and we have different types of uh, people here. We can basically vote. So this is where we want to change the design a bit. For example, in UX pilot, I kind of liked this voting vote summary view. Um, I don't like the design much, but I like the idea. So we can just say like based on this concept, but maybe add like a graph, for example. So I'm just going to take a screenshot of this and over here, go back to the chat and add the screenshot into the chat and say, let's create a voter um, summary card, have some type of visual representation of the votes. All right, so now we got that concept in here, as you can see, vote summary, mobile apps, web apps, innovation. I don't want it to be more about that. I want it to be like, maybe we can take these away and add some type of bar graph that shows like the main winners and they're like, you know, this, this person has more 
is their number one. Then we have number two, number three. All right, now, moment of truth, as you can see, voting. So we get this little uh, option over here. I think it, it's good, the, great, the concept is great, but we just have to find a way to match it with the actual branding, as you can see from the side panel from these uh, guys over here. So to actually make it look more of like a Contra design. And actually, since this, this is based off of a screenshot, I actually have to replace the sidebar navigation with this, for example, right? So we, again, we can say let's replace the sidebar na navigation with sidebar navigation. So I'll, I'll go ahead like this, add symbol, choose the correct one, click on submit, wait for that to get done. And boom, as you can see, we get our sidebar here. So it's looking just like in the actual Contra website. So now what we can do is we can actually bring this in. Uh, we can We can get this voting tab over here and we can replace the designs with something that already exists in Contra. Say, you know, make this in the style of like the cards, for example, or like the project cards. So this is an opportunity postcard, for example, and we can just duplicate this and bring this over to our design at the bottom. And we can say, you know, replace the voting cards over here with this. So we can say, I want the style of the voting card to look more like the style of opportunity postcard. So again, go ahead and submit that. And for the graph, something like this looks pretty good. So again, we can just, you know, duplicate this specific component and bring that over to our component that we're working on, which is this one that's loading. All right, and look at this, we get our style, just like we had it in that other component. That's, that, that's fantastic. So now let's just replace this style with this one, right? like with this graph, this blue color. I wouldn't say the line, the line graph, I would say more of these bars down here, but let's see what the AI comes up with. So again, let's replace the style of the voting graph to match the style of the impressions dashboard. And it's obviously better to be as specific as possible. So if you wanna say like the line graph, you can you should definitely mention that, mention that. Or if you wanna say the, you know, this specific part of that, you can also do that. You can delete this part and delete this one and just make the AI focus on this. But in this case, we're just gonna do it like, like with all of it and just see what it comes up with. And look at this. So it actually read my mind, right? It got, this voting information over here, replace it with this style over here. So it, it got that like bar graph understanding. We can delete this, for example, so vote for your favorites. So let's delete the vote for your favorites card and delete the voting information, right? Let's go ahead and submit that again. And going back here, now that's all gone. Now that we have a nice clean voting section, voting tab, and it's looking great. All right, so now since this, now this is done, we can go ahead and look at the different tabs. We have our voting tab looking great. So we created, that specific flow that we wanted to create. Now let's go ahead and export this out of here. So if we go into code over here on the right side, I can either open this in Gravity or in Cursor, or I can download the code base. And if I click on download the code base, I get this project like, like this. And then this is the next tool that I wanted to talk about, which is V0, right? So we have um, V0 over here, and you can click on the plus sign over here and click on upload from computer. And basically, you can just select this specific file or this document over here and just start the chat. And as you can see, we get our projects inside of V0, right? With the different components that we, add, that we added, like the side panel. And if I scroll the side panels, now sticky. Um, we have this voting tab over here. We can ask V0 to center this if we wanted to. We get our new view our new flow, our new voting flow, nice and looking good inside of V0. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to let me know down in the comments below. And like always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for being here. Hope to see you next time. Goodbye.